It was indeed a reality check for the PNG Kumuls team, but Maninga has come out strongly in a two-page statement conveyed by the PNG NRL Foundation, defending, if not throwing his support behind the current team, administrators and the government for their backing. The question being asked by many Papua New Guineans and rugby league followers, what went wrong with Team Kumul's performance? But Maninga says the people of PNG need to be patient and allow Team Kumul to build their program, then judge them. Maninga says this is a five-year plan and only one promise can be made, and that's with the right structures, programs and people, rugby league can achieve what every supporter wants. In Maninga's opinion, based on his association with PNG over the past 20 years, the standard of the game has decreased badly and the quality of national players had declined. Maninga says players need to be nurtured, educated and trained. They need more than just turning up to a game and be expected to be the best in the world. Maninga has appealed to the people of PNG and rugby league followers to realize that one win doesn't make a season nor does one loss make it a failure. In the meantime, PNG RFL Deputy Chairman Sandy Stasaka responded to Timothy Lepper's statement in the national newspaper today, claiming that the final World Cup team was the doing of the coaching staff and not the national selectors. Deputy Chairman Tisaka says it's time to start managing rugby league properly for the sake of the players and Lepper's claims were untrue as it was a team effort to finalize Team Kumu to the World Cup.